Hey, I couldn't find anything to eat. The kitchen's pretty cleaned out. Oh shoot, I left my bag. I, I brought you this. That was... Fuck, I don't even know what happened. It was all just a blur. How are you feeling? I'm okay. I'll be okay. Thanks to you. No, no, I, I just helped a little. It was all Caitlin and Ryan. You're here with me. That helps. All right, they're off to find a radio or something. What's with the, um, the... Oh, uh, we found another in Mr. H's office, so just in case. And what happened to the lights? Not sure. Any better? I'm doing okay. Kinda. Wait, are they going to the radio hut? <sighs> Phone's dead. They're gonna try to send out an SOS or something. We're holding down the fort. Dylan and Ryan already left. Wait, stay here. I'll check it out. We'll be fine. Just be careful. Stay alert. No sign of them. When you find them, blood them. And keep me posted, Bobby.
Hey, so this may not be like the best time per se, but like... What? Yeah, so like I was just, you know, thinking about like the start of summer and when we first met and started camp and well, like now that summer's over and, you know, is that like the last time we're gonna see each other, you know? Uh, sorry, Nick, what, what are you saying? Hey, don't worry about Caitlin, she's tough. I know. I'm sorry, Nick, I'm just distracted. Let's just get through the night, okay? Maybe I was misreading the situation back there, but... kind of felt like a little bit more was gonna happen. Well, did you want a little bit more to happen? Duh, are you dumb? Hey. Sorry. I just mean... Of course I wanted it to happen, I just... didn't know if you did too. That seems like such a long time ago now. <laughs> You did want it to happen, though. Uh, um, I... You can tell me. Yeah, I... I guess. <laughs> You're just saying that because I'm hurt. Nick. <sighs> what is going on out there, Caitlin? We've died. We've died. It's okay, I got this. Oh my god. What happened? Jesus, where's the gun? We gotta get out. No, we have to hide. Quick. So, the Radio Hut has, like, an actual radio? I thought it was just, like, for your morning announcements. Oh, yeah, yeah, it used to be more of a actual radio station, actually. Um, uh, you know, I mean, it is still technically, but nobody brings their radio to camp anymore. Yeah. It's weird, actually, that there used to be kids with their radio and their portable CD player and everything, and, you know, nowadays... Everything we need is on the phone, but Mr. Hackett takes it on the first day at camp so that we're not distracted by technology. Um, technology, it giveth and it taketh. So is, is that something, like, that you want to go into? Uh, camp radio? No, like, uh, DJing or music or something. Oh, um, yeah, I mean, I like music, but... I think I want to major in, um, quantum physics. Wait, what? <sighs> yeah. Uh, you don't really seem like a science guy. <laughs> oh, yeah, I mean, you know, not, not here. Um. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm so completely fascinated by this. What do you mean by not here? Not here at camp. I do that at home, and then here, I, um... You're a wise, wise, cracking smartass? <laughs> uh, that's a little harsh, but... Um... No? Okay, so maybe I was a little nervous when I arrived in an uncomfortable social situation, and I overcompensated a little bit, by making a bunch of jokes. You played into it. Yeah, I mean, people kind of 
enjoyed the blasé Dylan. Uh, and do do you enjoy the blasé Dylan? <laughs> Not yeah, like you know, whatever, man. It's pretty cool. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> um, I like Dylan Dylan. Well, it's nice to meet you, Dylan Dylan. I'm Ryan Ryan. Well, actually, I'm. Let's get the fuck out of here, Ryan. <laughs> yeah, I like him. He's that makes a lot of sense. All good? All good? Oh, this place is kind of a dump, huh? Okay, when I was a camper here, it was barely working. It hadn't been used for years, and it took me a really long time, actually, to get this place cleaned up and looking the way it is. So, I'm sorry if it's not up to your standards, but I've been putting in a lot of TLC. Okay. 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 Let me get this set up. All right. Anything over here we can use? The power tools? No. Um... That's Mr. H wanted more storage, so it's kind of how he lets me keep the station going. <laughs> gotcha. So, uh, how far does it go? Oh, um, well, it was designed just to broadcast to the PAs around camp for announcements and to, you know, portable radios and whatever. So, I think the range is about a mile. How do you even know all this stuff? Uh, I just kind of picked it up. Hmm. The tech technical stuff has always been a little uh, hard for me to get a handle on. Well, if you like, I could show you the ropes. Like a class? Yeah, it's easy. Like climbing. 
Sign me up, teach. Anyways, this thing's gonna need a bit of a power up, um, but that's where this comes in. Dust magnet. It's supposed to be a signal booster. It's kind of janky looking, but it's worth giving a shot. So, we can actually talk to people with this thing? Yeah, well, it's not a two-way radio, so, um, you know, we can talk, uh, but then the best we can do is switch it over to the receiver and see if anyone broadcasts anything back, which is unlikely, but... Well, it, I mean, it is what it is, I guess. Yeah. So, what should I say? Uh, just, like, make it sound urgent. Okay. Hello, how's it going out there? This is, uh, uh, we need help. This is, uh, we are counselors at Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp, and there's been a horrible accident attack, some stuff bad here. We need your help. Uh, there is a swarm of bears, and they are everywhere, and there's these hunters, too, and they seem to be shooting at the bears, but also at us, um, which is not good, and a few of our friends are hurt, and um, we are in desperate need of help, so please, I mean, there's vicious bears, and uh, we don't know what to do, so please uh, come help us, SOS, uh, this is a, an emergency, S save our ship, come on down, please help us. Did I do good? Was that... Swarm of bears? Yeah. Herd of bears. Yeah, I've heard of bears. What? Oh my god. All right, I, I guess I should just like switch this over to the receiver and see if we get anything yeah, back. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna keep an eye out while you do all this techie stuff. Okay, yeah, sure. Check it. I got a ping on the radio, but no response. I'm gonna head to the Wait, did he did he say lodge? I don't know. Huh? Two males in the radio shack near the cabins. Another couple unaccounted for. Copy that. Out. Out. Holy shit, they're talking about us. How? Because we just told them! On the fucking radio! Fuck! They know where we are, man. We can't stay here. Shit. Shit. Fuck. Hey, hey, let's, let, let's stay calm, okay? Um, let's, let's go find Caitlin and everybody, okay? Okay, yeah. I wasn't sure, man. Fuck, what the fuck was that? I have no idea. Uh, Ryan? Is it a bear? I don't think bears can jump like that. Caitlin, Abby, and Nick, they're coming up the path. Oh, shit. They're coming toward us. We, we, we gotta warn them. Um, what about the PA? 
Up top? Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, we can um, tell them to hide or something. Yeah. Uh... Oh, fuck! No! Oh, shit. Uh, the... uh, hold the button. Uh, Caitlin, get into a building now. Do not come up here. There's an animal outside the radio hut. Get, in, uh, get into a cabin now. Go! Oh, fuck, dude. They're gone. We gotta kill it. It's not a normal animal, man. I don't think a gun's gonna cut it. Of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? I don't know, man. I just don't think it's a good idea to go running out guns blazing against some random ass super animal. Well, what the hell else can we do? Well, if it's got hearing like a like a dog, maybe uh, I mean we could we could play a really high pitched feedback loop and crank it to the max, and uh, I mean it would hurt like hell, but okay, fine, let's do it. Feedback thing. All right. <sighs> okay, come on, Dylan. Let's do this. Um... Almost. Hey, Dylan, just take a breath. I'm sure you can figure it out. Okay, yeah, right. So, there's something missing. I do. What's missing? Hold the wire. Fix it. I'll cover you. Do it now. Go quickly. Get the wire, get the wire. What? Get the wire. The thing, get it. On it. Plug it, plug it into the thingy. Uh, keep pressure on it. Uh. What do I do, what do I do? The button, the button. We blew the speaker. Uh, it did the trick. Uh, nice work, Dylan. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, right. fuck, my hand. Right, right. Okay. Oh. Oh, just hold on. Why did you do that? You told me to. Oh, that was a bad idea. Is it safe? I think we're okay for now. We ran into one of those hunter guys. Ah, oh, crap. Yeah, chase us out of the lodge. I think we lost him on the way up here. You get a message out? I think so. Great. What the hell was going on at... Oh my god! Tell him what happened! Oh, um... I'm okay. I, I, I mean... I'm not, um... But it's, it doesn't, doesn't hurt. Okay, you're in shock. Holy fucking shit. Uh. Did that thing do this? No. Well, sort of. It, it... Caitlin, where's your gun? I lost it. One of the friendly locals wanted to say hi. What the fuck? Did she shoot at us? Who's there? Who was she? Should we follow her? Ah, <sighs> oh, shit, Dylan, what is that? You're back. Looks like that's one less vermin in the world. Let's take a look once more. The devil. Without restrictions, like a shadow torn from one's corporeal form. Pay close attention and act before the demons unleashed. Each of us have one. Even those who are pure of heart and say their prayers by night. Here we have the Hermit. With the Hermit comes isolation, loneliness, but reflection, too. Perhaps, given some thought, the hermit who gives chase can guide you to safety. But that all depends on your actions, not his. I want to show you more. Would that be all right? Two futures to see, but only one can be seen. Make your choice. We spend so much time looking toward the future. It's easy to forget that the past holds secrets, too. Worth remembering that. So it's goodbye again. I'll be here.
I'll wait for you.